I give the call to the Leader of the Greens. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Resources. The UN Secretary General, the world scientists and the International Energy Agency all say no new coal and gas projects can proceed if we're to meet climate goals. But the Labor government's first emissions projections name seven new giant gas projects that you will open up before 2030, including Beedaloo, Scarborough, Narrabri and Browse. In a time of climate crisis, why is Labor opening new coal and gas mines under its safeguard mechanism? The order. I give the call to the Minister for Northern Australia and the Minister for Resources. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I, I thank uh, the Leader of the Greens for his question. Uh, as you know, this government is committed to taking action on climate change. We have legislated uh, targets. We have legislated to reach net zero emissions by 2050. The, the Minister for Climate Change and Energy is working very hard with industry and with anyone else who wants to consult with us, with the government, on the safeguards mechanism. And it will be the safeguards mechanism that is the main or one of the main ways by which we will, and the industry itself, whether it be any emitting industry, whether it's gas, uh, concrete, uh, agricultural industries, that will be the mechanism by which they will have to reduce their emissions. Uh, we have said consistently on this side of the parliament, the government has said consistently, uh, there will be, projects will only go forward if they stack up environmentally, uh, socially and economically. We will not be sponsoring them. They will happen if they are able to happen and they meet those uh, very tight restrictions. But what we know, this government is committed to net zero emissions by 2050. We know there is a climate crisis around the world. And we will not be adopting greens-based policies that are economy wrecking. We will continue to make sure this economy keeps working. And to be frank, Order. we all know that parts of this country will continue to need gas for at least the very medium term. And that is an important part for minerals processing, the for minerals of the processing, will cease for ejecting. manufacturing industry. This is just the facts of where we are. And that is why making sure it's a net zero emissions aim is so important and we're committed to this. We've legislated for it. We will make it happen. And I do hope that the opposition come along with us to make sure it does happen.